Hi, this is Teresa Momber, and here's a look at the card I'll be showing you how to make in today's video. Start with a piece of white cardstock trimmed to three and a quarter by four and a half inches, and sponge very lightly in the middle using Gina K Sweet Corn ink. Create a mask using a Spellbinders Circle die template and secure in place using repositionable tape. Continue sponging using Gina K Sweet Corn ink. Sponge a little heavier at the top of your cardstock and work your way across the entire length of the cardstock but getting lighter as you go. Then remove your mask. I want to create a mirror shape on my next masks, so I'm using sticky notes stuck together and then I'll trim along the edge using scissors. After trimming, separate the masks and secure in place over your background. For the top mask, you'll want to overlap the sun slightly and place the bottom mask just below, lining up the curves so that they mirror each other. Sponge in the open space between the two masks using Gina K Designs Sweet Mango Ink. Create another set of mirrored masks the same way you did the previous set. This time when you're cutting along the edge creating your curves, make them a little less deep and more gentle sloping curves. Place the new set of masks in the open area between the last set, once again being careful to line them up so they mirror each other. This time sponge in the open space using Gina K Designs Honey Mustard Ink. Now you'll need one more set of masks, this time just using the straight edge of the sticky note and place them in the very center of the open space. Then sponge in the open space using Gina K Designs Black Onyx Ink. And then remove all the masks. Now sponge along the bottom working your way up toward the horizon line using Gina K Designs Ocean Mist Ink.
Use the sun mask once again, this time to create a reflection of the sun. And then after it's in place, sponge a bit more of the ocean mist ink. And when you're finished, remove that mask as well. Once again, sponge along the bottom of your cardstock, but this time use the sponge dauber you used for the black ink. But don't re-ink it, just use the residual ink that was left on the dauber. For the next step, stamp the cattail image from the Vertical Greetings stamp set from Gina K Designs using Gina K Black Onyx ink. To create a reflection of the cattails, stamp the image once again, this time onto a piece of acetate. Or, if you have one, you can stamp it onto a mirror image stamp. Turn the acetate over, position it directly under the cattail image, and press down. When you lift the acetate, you'll have a reflected image, but it won't be quite as dark as the original image. My reflection turned out a little splotchier than I wanted so I'm using an N5 Copic marker to smooth it out a bit. Now use a C3 Copic marker and add in some gentle wave lines to the water. Stamp the sentiment, also from the Vertical Greetings stamp set, onto a one half inch by three and a half inch piece of cardstock. Add adhesive foam squares to the back of the sentiment layer. And then secure it in place. Secure your main layer to a piece of black onyx cardstock cut to slightly larger than the original piece. And then secure both of those layers to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch sandy beach card base. That completes our card project for today. Thanks for watching.